Antonio Brown wants back in the NFL. His Twitter storm revealed that he believes the game needs him, but do any teams want him? According to his agent, yes, there are allegedly multiple teams who have expressed interest in signing the free agent. Hi everyone, this is Devin Howard here to fill you in on the latest NFL news. If you haven't clicked that follow button on Instagram, go ahead and do that now at Devin Howard, then subscribe to The Fumble for all the latest sports news you know you love. Last weekend, Antonio Brown tweeted out his intent to retire from the NFL. He said, quote, will not be playing in the NFL anymore. These owners cancel deals, do whatever they want at any time. We will see if the NFL holds them accountable. Sad they can just void guarantees. We'll see if they pay up. He's currently pursuing a $10 million grievance against the Patriots and the NFL after he was released from the team following sexual assault allegations. Rob Kraft says Brown won't see any of the money from his deal. The athlete is also also currently battling multiple civil lawsuits and he's had a rough start to the season in the league after being booted from the Raiders and, and then the Patriots. But now, just days after claiming he was done, he went on another Twitter rant saying, quote, I'm still the best, why stop now? And added, the game needs me, I'm like test answers. It's not totally clear if he's talking about football, but I'm gonna take a gander and say yes, he most definitely is. His agent supported my theory by also revealing that he doesn't think AB truly wants to leave the league. He revealed that there are teams who are interested in signing the player. He said, quote, I have had discussions with a few teams that are very interested in him and want to know about his future and what's going on with the NFL. Hopefully when that's all resolved, Antonio will be able to continue his Hall of Fame career. That's really where our focus is. His agent also said that it hasn't been easy for Antonio to not be playing. He said, quote, obviously it's a very difficult time for him not playing. We expected him to be playing against the Jets on Sunday, so it's tough. It's tough for someone who loves the game not to be playing right now, and the hope is that we will cooperate with the NFL and their investigation and get him back with a team to continue this tremendous career that he's had. Personally, I find it hard to believe that any teams would sign someone with a reputation as tarnished as Antonio's, especially considering no teams will even touch Colin Kaepernick, but that's a whole different story altogether. Fumble fans, you have to let me know your thoughts on all of this. Do you think Antonio deserves another shot in the NFL? Let me know in the comments. Also, it's time for that ESPN Plus deal for you. We're so excited to become an affiliate with ESPN Plus. ESPN Plus has a huge live sports selection where you can catch all your favorite MLB, MLS, and NHL teams throughout the season. There are fewer ads and more highlights for every crazy sports fan out there. You can also stream a selection of international soccer matches as well as college football, basketball, and tons of others, all watchable on over 10 devices, including iOS, Android, Apple TV, Fire Stick, Roku, and so many others. The app lets you rewind live games and replay full games on demand anytime you want. ESPN Plus also has some of the best original shows, including Kobe Bryant's Detail, OJ Made in America, ESPN FC, and much more. You also get 20 UFC Fight Night exclusives with over 100 total fights, including main card events and exclusive original content, all through the easy-to-access ESPN Plus platform. Our friends at ESPN Plus are giving Fumble fans a special seven-day free trial with access to some of the coolest content out there. Join today and get a seven-day free trial that you can cancel at any time, and if you want to keep watching, you can join after that for just $4.99 a month or $49.99 for the whole year. I'm Devin Howard. Thanks for tuning into The Fumble, and I'll see you next week.